Assalamualaikum and welcome to another episode of Project Zulfit 2.0. This episode is going to be kind of boring because I'm here on a Saturday uh, to clean up all the small stuff. So that means like, you know, I've, I've brought back the, my printer, my files, and then I'm going to do up the artificial grass. I'm going to probably cut it to size and fit it into some of the uh, places in the gym. Um, and then I'm also going to clear out more things in the storage area. So it's not fun, but it needs to be done. Tomorrow, my friend is going to come and help me out with the big and heavy stuff. So like the platforms, the um, jerk blocks, things that I cannot carry on my own. So he's going to come and help me out. So these two days, it's going to be really tiring. Uh, I expect that I'm going to be really tired and fatigued. But uh, I got to get it done because uh, hopefully, at least I want by Monday, everything should be cleared, uh, arranged, put away, uh, washed, clean, and everything. Basically, everything to be ready uh, by Monday, inshallah, or at least next week. Um, because we've got everything else done and the contractor has not contacted me again. I don't know why he's being very um, quiet. So, but there haven't been, there hasn't been any um, heavy rain these days. So, Alhamdulillah, that means uh, the leaking is kept to a minimum. There's not much to be done here, but I hope that you'll stay right till the end. Okay, might not seem much, but I brought my printer from home and uh, set it up because we have the internet ready. So now it's connected to the wireless LAN. The other thing that I did upstairs was to just relocate the, <laughs> just to relocate the, what used to be a display shelf, a display rack. Um, that thing is made out of um, metal and you stick those, um, you stick these things like that, you know, so then you can hang your clothes or whatever. But uh, quite frankly, I don't use it anymore because uh, we don't get a lot of uh, food traffic. So if you hang clothes on there, after a while, dust will settle on them and it doesn't look good. Plus, I don't have a lot of apparels. Uh, whatever I have, I am keeping them on those shelves. So I think those are much better. And then obviously my, all the other smaller stuff that I have, all on these um, shelves. I rather sell them, um, but I paid too much for it. And if I sell them now, it's going to be really cheap, this, despite the, the price of uh, steel nowadays. But nobody wants this anymore. So uh, that's my loss. One of the more important things that I did just now is to make sure that right now we are able to view all the cameras remotely. So I find this is really important, obviously, for obvious reasons. I think seven cameras right now covers everything already. Okay, we're done now for the first floor. Now let's go back downstairs and uh, do the real hard work now. Now I'm going back upstairs because I just heard that, I just heard the fan and we need to switch that off. <laughs> okay, so what I want to do down here is I want to lay down all the um, the latch that I bought yesterday uh, and then I'm going to measure some of the area and cut the artificial, artificial grass and put the artificial grass on them so that you know this place looks a bit uh, not dead I don't know what's the English word it's not alive it looks like uh, you know in Malay you call it hidup tempat di hidup you know, there's life, you know, so uh, right now it looks very industrial, very, uh, very uh, dead, you know, so <laughs> I'm going to put some artificial grass on the empty areas. So that needs a lot of work because I've done it before in the previous showroom and it took a lot of work and I'm not too sure whether I'm going to glue them down. We're going to see whether, you know, how much the, the grass would move if people just step on it or, you know, 
uh, last thing we want is to, to cause an accident when people sleep uh, and things like that. So, I'm not looking forward to this, but I've got so many artificial grass. Either I get rid of them or I use them. Over here we have the the ledge. So I bought about 35. Uh, it should cover the areas that I want to cover. This is obviously not a good product. You can see there's a gap. It's not even cut straight because it's not totally against the the rubber mats, right? But they're the same uh, length, which is 50 mm. Sorry, 50 cm. But look at that. It's a horrible product. Um, it's not good. Uh, thank God it's, well, it's cheap. Um, and it does serve the purpose. I mean, when I step on it, I do feel that it's more uh, stable and that the risk of twisting one's ankle would be uh, significantly reduced. The only thing is I'm not going to glue this down because that's going to take too much effort and I don't think these are going to be moved around um, quite a bit because I don't expect a lot of people to come here. It's just that when anybody comes, at least, you know, um, it's relatively safe. And uh, also, when I moved here, um, I made a conscious decision not to overspend. Um, but funny enough, the, that's what happened anyways. Like for example, the wiring cost too much. I'm not too sure whether this guy is ripping me off or whether that's the market rate. But oh, I, just paid, I just paid an arm and leg just for the wiring. Obviously, I bought the rich truck, but that I believe is um, will make the work more efficient once we get once we know how to handle handle it and how to move maneuver it uh, in, a, in in tight spaces. I mean, I try my best to keep the cost down. Uh, obviously, we we don't want to overspend. Uh, we need to protect our cash flow uh, because the the stock that we are going to receive in November, inshallah, will be one of the biggest uh, orders that uh, we've placed. So the purpose for that is that we want to stock here in Malaysia and previously what I did was it's all just based on pre-order and I just keep a little bit uh, for stock but this time around based on the last financial year um, Alhamdulillah we managed to clear off almost every single thing that we've uh, brought in so now I'm taking another risk number one by moving here number two by keeping more stock in more stocks in Malaysia so inshallah, I hope that this effort will be fruitful and that we will see the, uh, the sales pick up once we start to open this place officially. I just completed task number one at the ground floor. I just stacked all of the planks on the pallet just to clear up some space in the storage area. In doing so, I also had a bit of practice maneuvering the rich truck it's getting easier now. Inshallah, I, I am confident that I will master the rich truck and things will be easier in the future. Next up, I'm going to lay down the artificial grass next to the power rack. So this is the second task that I uh, did for the storage. I reused the artificial grass that I have and just cut it down to size and lay it out on, on this particular area. Immediately it looks, makes this place looks more livelier, right? I think that's the word, livelier, because of the green color. And uh, this is where I'm going to put my, my chiller. So maybe one day, who knows, when I open up the gym, I'll probably sell some drinks just to make some extra money. Um, we also have our water dispenser behind me, so that's going to sit on the wall. Task number three completed. I have stacked the sport training plates that I have. So it was on the floor before and now it's already on the rack. So Alhamdulillah, although it has been slow, I suppose it's necessary before I open up the showroom again, before I open up the gym again. Uh, I just want things to be as perfect as possible, even though I know that 
it is impossible to be perfect, but at least when people come in here, they get that sense of wow, just like they did with the first showroom, inshallah. Task number four, I'll be putting up the straight pull up bar up there. Task number four done. So I've already installed the straight pull up bar. Uh, as you recall, this cross member is supposed to be at the back and the rib is supposed to be up front so the rib can be used as a pull up bar itself. But I think we can have both. Yes, <laughs> we don't have to follow exactly as the user manual. I really don't know what is the implication of doing so. I doubt that there's anything wrong with it because everything seems to be holding up the power rack really nicely. So it is, it is safe, right? So I don't see, I don't see any, uh, what do you call this? Any problem with doing with putting the cross member at the front. Um, yeah. Apart from the floor not being level, so this thing shakes a little bit. But otherwise, everything is good. I think that's it for today. I think I accomplished quite a bit, so I'm not too disappointed with today. So tomorrow, my friend's gonna come, so we're gonna do a few things, namely moving all these big things. Uh, hopefully, I still have the energy to uh, move these things because we have the two platforms, the, the locker, uh, we have the, oh, the biggest, the, the heaviest one, which is the jerk blocks. So I still can't figure out where to put the jerk blocks, uh, most likely right behind the Pressera half rack. That seems to have the most space. Right now, it's occupied by the uh, plyo box, but the plyo box, can, you can just put it anywhere. And another thing is, there is a high chance that I'll be bringing in the Governor's half rack tomorrow and the remaining stocks that I have at home, um, which also includes the chiller that I mentioned earlier. So because I've already cut the artificial grass in, the, in that section next to the power rack, I think I can bring the uh, chiller now. So that should complete <coughs> all of the moving and the rest is just a matter of touching up here and there, inshallah. Obviously, there's still work by the contractors that's still not done, which is the toilet, the, leak, the roof leakage. Uh, what else? Yeah, those are the two major things. And oh, also to make sure that the, um, the windows upstairs is, is boarded up. So inshallah, by next week, I think I'm going to just open it up for, you know, for people who want to come and, and look at the showroom, inshallah. Okay guys, uh, thank you again for watching. Uh, remember, if you are new here, please do subscribe to the channel. If you have any comments, questions or anything regarding Eleko, regarding my, sh regarding my showroom or anything, uh, live questions, just leave your questions and comments in the comment section below. If you need to get in touch with me personally, you can uh, email me. My email is in the description. Till the next episode, stay safe and see you soon. Bye.